belongs in New Zealand, bro. <laughs> and all the guards have been modified so it gets more of a turn in it, so it would be good for someone who wanted to do drifting. So that's a carbon, I, I haven't seen that in the RX3. No, a carbon pipe bonnet. What are we doing here? Just battery isolator. Isolator? Right. Put the isolator on. Oh yeah, sweet. Sweet. So we've got RX8 seats. Oh, it's You've got the um, the retractable seat belts. So yeah, I've got retractable seat belts. And you've got half a loop. Yep, it used to have a full cage in it, but we cut a lot of it out just to make it more streetable and easier for me to get in and out of because I'm six foot three. Now what's going on with this? What's this here? That's um, that's just my nav and, and iPhone thing. So when I'm driving around places, I can put my mapping up on that. Oh yeah. And the Haltech's obviously the computer that runs it. A lot of people put the Haltech up here, but I like the old school dash, so I've kept that and put the Haltech in the middle. And all the instruments work as well, yeah? Yeah, everything works. All you the gauges got, work. You got fuel level and... Yeah. So the history of this car, so it was a circuit car. It was a circuit car, yeah. I'm really interested to see how it handles because of the, the whole front and rear suspension is quite unique, yeah? It is. It's got an uh, independent rear end in it out of a Nissan 260ZX. Uh, it's got, in the front, we've got a rack and pinion steering instead of the old steering box. The stance has been widened everywhere. Um, gearbox lever usually sits about here in a normal car, so the motor's been dropped and pushed back like that far. So you could drop it to the 20B in here without changing anything, just put the new 20B in because it's got so much room in front of the motor and the radio. But who did all that work? By what country? Uh, I don't know. Before okay. I bought it. So it looks like it's got Series 6 brakes as well in it. Uh, series 5. Okay. Yeah. So down started, Series 6 top hat. Series 6 top hat, get down started, ready to go. Just bridge ported, not semi, just a bridge? Uh, full bridge on the secondaries only. Primaries are slight port, but just normal primary. Again, we're going after streetable. So you can see all of the adjustments you've got in the your camber and caster. And 
and um, all the guards have been modified so it gets more of a turn in it. So it would be good for someone who wanted to do drifting or anything because you can lock it right up, especially with the um, rack and pinion in it rather than the steering box. So, so they've, they've got front tubs as well, eh? Front tubs as well as back, yeah. And they've got the extra supports in the front. Yeah. So what's going on with this bonnet too? So that's a carbon, I, I haven't seen that in the RX3. No, a carbon fiber bonnet came with it. Um, I'm going to put a normal bonnet on it as well, but it does look pretty mean, sort of suits it. The fact that it's um, an old car that quite got a lot of modern shit in it, you know? I've got to say, this this three belongs in New Zealand, bro. It does, doesn't it? It yeah, does. It, it, it has that kiwi. stance. It has uh, the big tyres. Oh, I'll have a bit of a geese under the... Is this still a steel, yep. steel front, steel, steel front bar? There's some stuff going on under that. Yeah, that's unique. That's cool. Thanks so much, bro, for sharing it. You don't know the old number plates or anything? I think the old number plates are Sydney Rotary. Sydney Rotary. Like Sydney BLA place. I think they were the old place. I don't know. Has someone spent some RBR? 